hi guys and welcome back to another video um i'm here it is on a tuesday and i've been thinking to myself i think i should start daily vlogging or doing like a weekly vlog so putting a few days of my week into just one vlog um so yeah i think that would be quite exciting and it's kind of encouraged me to go out more not that i don't go out a lot already but i just mean it's fun it's also fun to look back on um it is a tuesday i know i should really start daily vlogging on a monday i was going to vlog with my friend leah because i actually went out with her yesterday and she went to zz's and had a salad and a lovely peach drink you've probably seen it on my instagram and it was absolutely lovely and then after that we went to kind of like a cocktail lounge i actually ordered a biscot biscot do you know those little biscuits i absolutely love them i never really know what they're called but this biscuit was incorporated into a cocktail and it was absolutely minging as they say in england it was a vodka and baileys and little crumbs of the biscuit and whipped cream at the top i thought it sounded very very adventurous I literally paid £7.50 for this darn cocktail and it tasted absolutely vile, foul, disgusting. I had two sips and it was literally a waste of £7.50. And obviously everything closes at 10 so we were out by 10. And we just went around a little local lake, just took photos at 10ish at night. And yeah, that was my evening yesterday. It was very, very good today. I went to Headway. Yeah, now I'm on my way to Bedford. That's right, I'm wearing the mom jeans. I just want to apologize for the state of my hair. I mean, your girl's hair is not looking good whatsoever. This is called last night's hair. I'll say, sadly, I can't do my hair myself because I cannot braid and the braids are quite loose. Mum does my braids because I cannot braid and that's just a shame. But I'm gonna have to teach myself. But basically, I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to learn. Because obviously when I have children, Jesus ways, I'm gonna have to braid their hair. I need to go into the town centre. I need to go into Primark. I need to buy a few bits because I've been seeing so many people recently doing Primark hauls. Um, with their autumn tash winter clothes and i am in love and knowing that you can literally layer clothes is such a brilliant thing i think i could make summer clothes um or you know nice cute little tank tops and layer it over turtlenecks and just you know be adventurous i think fashion is not about trends fashion is about comfort fashion is a representation of you just as makeup is a representation of you it shouldn't be down to you know society to show you how makeup should be done or fashion should be done fashion is for you you make your own fashion trend okay okay i brought an umbrella this was last week or the week before i've left it so i'm left with this hood obviously it's fur so if it pours down with rain again because as you can see it was raining lord help me because this coat is not waterproof rants from jody okay guys so the quality of this video might change just ever so slightly um that's because you're facing me as you can imagine it was raining which is lovely hey guys so hopefully you can hear me i've got the all clear i just had to ask the only rule is is that i don't get people in it so that is good. So I'll be seeing this is like a new trend. It kind of looks like this. Look, like I'll show you. Like little, I would call them like old man vests. But they kind of are coming back into fashion. Like you put them on top of like um, white blouses and you kind of dress them up. But i don't know it's kind of a trend that i kind of want to try but i don't think it would suit me absolutely whatsoever oh, look at the color of this i like this it's like a burgundy knitted jumper oh look at that color i mean that is a bit of me but do i go red and really play up autumn 
or do I do something more do I do something more extravagant like a blue because that's quite nice it's not in like the autumn colors is it but I kind of like this this is really really nice and it's 10 pounds going straight in my basket <laughs> These are kind of like the shirts that I wear often. They're like a mix of total mix, but they're thinner, which I really, really like. It's kind of what I'm wearing right now. You can play it, play it up with jeans underneath uh, like pinafore dresses. That looks really cute. But I always think these are an autumn staple and they have so many colors. Oh my gosh, look how many colors they have. Look how many colors they have. Like look, you have the pink, black, mustard like blush blue red black oh my gosh it girl's gonna be styling it so this is red obviously so i kind of want to get a you know what i should I kind of get a like a nude color that's quite cute I don't know why I'm putting it up to my forehead, like, I'll be able to see if it will look good on me or do justice to my skin tone. Perfect. I'll show it my basket. I should actually get a basket. I don't know why I'm just putting things literally stacked on my arm. I'm kind of going back to these, the old man vests. I don't want to rock it. Like, I kind of want to rock it. I mean, Ellie Darby has rocked it. Jordan is going to rock it. I mean, I need to rock it. Oh my gosh, this kind of reminds me of two people. It kind of reminds me of a girl called Ashley. I get my nails done by her. It kind of reminds me of her. And has like flowers, tassel flowers. And it also kind of reminds me of this other um, influencer. She's mainly on Instagram. But her name is Charlotte. I will link both of them down below. Um, but yeah, it kind of reminds me of them. <laughs> so if guys, if you see this, come to Primark. <laughs> but should I be basic and get a grey? Or... Because there's grey, black, and like a dark green. I don't know whether to be basic and just get the grey. Oh my gosh, it's just giving me old man vibes. It's just giving me old man vibes. You know what? I can't I can't risk it for the biscuit, as my boyfriend would say. I can't. But these do look cute. They're like grey jumpers. And they kind of have like the balloon sleeves, which is really cute as well and it kind of like cuffs at the bottom that's quite cute i'm for 13 pounds <sighs> and straight my basket okay so so far i have a gray a blush and a red which is quite cute to be honest nothing else is kind of popping out at me i see a lot of cardigans um and i think cardigans are good because you can literally wear a shirt and just pop on a cardigan which is quite nice Ooh, you turn real quick oh that looks really nice i really like this sage jumper i really really like this sage jumper to be honest the product contains at least 30 percent of recycled materials that is really good i'm really into being sustainable i want to be a sustainable queen i think i literally have all that i need i kind of want to go in like the home section now and look at some nice decor because i've seen some nice decor and like i said like other people's like primer calls and it looks sick can't even lie it looks sick now i'm gonna go downstairs because i'm guessing that Excuse me, is yes. the home section downstairs? It is, yeah. Perfect, thank you so much. The home section is downstairs, so off we go. Looking at boots, I mean, I'm a sucker for like, I don't know what you'd call them, like combat boots, like war type boots. 
chunky boots. I don't even know what you call them, but I'm a sucker for them. And I really, really like these. They're like lace up at the front and they have a chunky heel, which is nice. Anything other, I'd feel like I'd trip on. <laughs> the truth, but hey ho, it all has to go because I can stay in Primark literally all day, every day. I can stay in Primark and not buy anything. <laughs> look, I know that sounds so sad, but I could just be in Primark and look around and be freely happy. Look at this plant. Obviously it's artificial, but it's still cute. Like, come on in, come on in. This is Hooray, Georgia hello. Beth photography, and she has been doing all of my photos today. Um, yeah, that is a wrap, and you will see some sneak peeks very soon. Woohoo! Thank you so much for love. Hello, so today is Thursday. Yesterday, I obviously had the photo shoot, um, and today I got my nails did. I got my nails done by the lovely Ashley and she did such an amazing job. In regards to this one here, she did that freehand and there was no stickers, no like, you know, whatever. Um, she did it freehand and she took her time and she did such an amazing job. And the pattern that we are trying to um, achieve, is it, is it tartan? The tartan pattern? But anyways, she did such an amazing job and I'm forever pleased. And then this one is just marble after that. We went down to the local mall, me and my lovely PA. And we got to get muzzles for my dog. I stopped into Pizza Express to get a salad. And I saw a lovely friend called Millie. Shout out to you, Millie, if you ever watch this video. Um, and then we stopped off at Grey to get some munchies for my pizza, the lovely Naomi. And now I'm home. But recently, you probably noticed I'm laying down and you can see the bed for so I'm laying on my bed. I recently have just been feeling really, really fatigued. 
extreme fatigue and I know when I'm feeling fatigued because I just feel like a cabbage. I literally feel like a cabbage. I feel like uh, and I feel like that and then I got emotional and I just knew. So I've just taken time to sit here and talk to you about what fatigue feels like to me. I probably have mentioned it in my brain injury video. But see as I'm getting fatigued right now, I just thought I'd hop on on a Thursday and just explain to you what fatigue feels like to me. So usually when I fatigue, like I said I cry, I lay in my bed, obviously fall asleep if I need to, watch them on the TV or continue to be busy because I kind of, I try to avoid being fatigued, like I thought being fatigued three years down the line after my brain injury is quite embarrassing but it sounds so weird saying that out loud but I don't want to feel fatigued so I try and push past that by doing things which is wrong you should listen to your body you should listen to your body because your body is a temple your body is important and if your body is telling you that your body wants to be but your head feels fatigued or your body feels exhausted but your head is busy listen and relax do something that requires minimal you know, concentration or effort the thought of me coloring right now is quite relaxing but i don't feel like coloring i don't i wouldn't want to put myself that I honestly don't want to do. So that looks weird. I don't know why that's just that should keep it like that. Um yeah, so colouring for some people is relaxing. I love colouring. But kind of right now obviously I'm feeling fatigued so you want to relax. But the thought of me colouring, I don't want to colour so I'm not gonna colour. I'm just gonna sit, play, probably put on a really cheese film actually when i was with my friend leah on monday she loves um mamma mia i mean and my friend beth and molly loves mamma mia mamma mia mamma mia and i'm completely obsessed well i was mainly me there i am i've probably watched 30 minutes of mamma mia meaning the first one and that's about it so to be honest i think i might put that on and have a good sing along to some of the songs and actually see what it is about. If you suffer from fatigue, what do you do? That's a question for you. If you suffer from fatigue, what do you do? Do you colour? Do you sleep? Do you just what do you do to relax? Thank you guys so much for watching my first vlog. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And yeah, have a blessed day and continue to stay safe. Bye!